Hello everyone. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to see how to use auto encoder to denoise an image. So in the previous video we have seen how to use auto encoder for image compression. So here we are going to denoise the image as you can see as we already seen uh, auto encoders can also be used for uh, denoising the image as mentioned here. So if you didn't see the previous video means you can click on the right top corner of this video to see on this project because the whole uh, structure I have explained in detail manner in that video. So it will be very helpful for you. So this is the auto encoder explanation and uh, now here the flow of auto encoder will be changing. So here instead of the input image we will be using uh, noisy image. Noisy image, encoder, compressed representation, decoder, restructured image. You can just say restructured clear image. So that is our objective. So this is the whole flow we are going to follow. And these are the modules we are going to import. So these are the basic modules and these are for uh, loading the data set. And this is for the model creation from Keras. Run this and this instance is enabled with the GPU so you can also change the runtime here. Now we will load the data set. Okay, let's normalize the image. Run this. Again reshape the image. So here we are going to add some noise to the image. So currently the image is looking like this. So now I will add a separate section for this add noise to the image leave some code now here we will be having a few things first we will have noise factor noise factor equals let's say 0 0.6 and after that uh, we are going to create that uh, noisy image so x train underscore noisy equals x train plus the noise factor noise factor multiplies by np dot random dot normal so this will create a normal distribution so here this is the mean that is zero or the center point of the normal distribution and scale is standard deviation of this uh, normal distribution so i will set it as one and uh, here size we will use x train dot shape because uh, we have to use the same shape as here so this is for x test and similarly we will use the same for x train now copy this and do the same for x test factor and x test run this now we have added noise to the input so as you already see we already normalized the image so the values will be in the range of uh, 0 to 1 so let's see x train of 0 All the values are in the range of uh, 0 to 1. Now, now we will see it for the extra noisy. So for currently some values are gone uh, below 0 and uh, some are gone uh, greater than 0. Because of this uh, adding the noise factor. So we will just limit the array values. So for that, clip the values in the range of 0 to 1. So for that, extra noisy, noisy equals np dot clip the input extra noisy comma a min that is 0 point 
and after that the maximum value that is one point so this is the range we are going to set similarly we will do the same for x test so x test and x test now this is done let's run this okay now it's done as you can see this is the original image that is x test now i'm going to use x test noisy run this see you can't clearly understand what is the number actually is i think it's like one or seven so clearly i can't able to see so this is the image after adding noise let's see another one noisy and again i clearly can't see what is the actual value maybe let's uh, use the same index to see what is the actual value just copy this one paste it here so this is actually a uh, 5 so that is uh, really difficult to find uh, with this noisy image so our current objective is to uh, denoise this image and try to get this as an output so that is our objective now i am going to use the same model you can also increase the model size if you want maybe based on the results we will just increase this uh, number of filters let's run this so now here we have to change few things that is input will be the noisy input and output will be the proper image and similarly for validation we will uh, have the input as noisy and output will be the proper one now let's run this so this will be a uh, quick so we will just wait for uh, 20 epochs and after that we will check how the results are okay as you can see now the training has been completed let's visualize the result first let's predict okay prediction is done randomly we will select an image so this is for x test so we have to use x test noisy noisy and yeah let's run this so this is the noisy image let's do the prediction so this is the clear image as you can able to see it removed all the noise in the image let's do this plot so it will be much easier so this will be noisy and similarly we will use it here okay let's run this see this is the noised image and this is the clear image so it's actually working so much great as you can able to see uh, it's removing all the noise we have added at the start and uh, using this we can uh, do many things uh, like we can uh, clear some uh, blur images and image sharpening uh, there are so many applications we can uh, use with the help of uh, auto encoder let's see another example see as i already told i can clearly uh, see whether it is 8 or 5 but uh, using this denoised image we can uh, clearly understood uh, what is the actual images so this is the input image we are passing and this is the output uh, we are getting it's actually great right uh, we are getting some uh, very much uh, useful results uh, from the auto encoder apart from this project uh, i will try to uh, use some real time uh, projects like using uh, three channels and uh, additional uh, examples so it will be very helpful to use this type of applications uh, for uh, real time problems so that will be very helpful for you if you have any idea on your mind means please leave a comment below i will try to implement uh, your ideas as a project apart from that if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this stay tuned for the next video